remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Filmmaker Spike Lee was denied entry into Madison Square Garden, where his beloved Knicks hosted my beloved Houston Rockets and beat the brakes off of them. They only won by two points, but that's significant for the Knicks. What the hell is wrong with the Rockets, man? They allowed the Knicks. The Knicks is one of the most lowest-rated teams in basketball. Boy, them damn Rockets, man. Mm-mm. Ain't putting my money over there. Uh-uh. Hell no. Anyway, Spike tried to gain entry into the arena in the part of the arena where it's reserved for security and employees. Usually security employees and players uh, enter a certain part of the arena typically behind, you know, backstage, right? Spike can be heard on video saying, nobody told me, or no one told me. And then he told him, look, what y'all gonna do? Arrest me like you did Charles Oakley? If y'all can recall back in 2017, Charles Oakley was arrested after he uh, criticized the ownership uh, of the, the Knicks uh, at a game. He was arrested at the game. Uh, and then he scuffled with security, so they, they took him to jail. So Spike was ready to go. But eventually, cooler heads prevailed, and Spike took his seat. And, of course, he was elated that his Knicks was able to knock off the Rockets. I mean, I said elated, but not only elated, but he had to be surprised as hell. But I, I'm not really surprised when the Rockets lose a game to a team that they're supposed to smoke because the Rockets have a propensity for doing stuff like this. You can never watch a Rockets game and just sit back and enjoy it and be confident that the team is going to go in there and do what they're supposed to do and get on back on the bus and head to the crib. Not the Rockets. It's always got to be drama. Anyway, I found this story interesting because being somewhat of a public figure myself, there are times when you show up at various venues and you'll have somebody at the door who tries to stretch their authority. They know exactly who you are, but they want to give you a hard time. Everybody knows that Spike Lee is perhaps the biggest Knicks fan in Knicks history. Even if that person at the door did not know who Spike Lee was, they could have easily uh, had somebody to vouch for them because there were other people that was in close proximity to what was going on. They could easily, man, that's Spike Lee. Let him through. But they didn't do that because they wanted to have a story. Here's the deal. Celebrities typically get preferential treatment, fair or not. Right or wrong, venues typically give celebrities preferential treatment because they're a celebrity. And them being in the building makes for good publicity. People get on their phones and say, well, who was that? Such, such, such was that. Such, such, such was that. This person was that. That person was that. Also, uh, the venue will show celebrities preferential treatment because Maybe at some point they want that celebrity to host something, perform there, or something like that. So they tend to give those celebrities some action that they wouldn't give anybody else. Sometimes when I'm in that type of situation and somebody say, well, you don't have access, I can't let you in or whatever, or, or, you know, you need to get... I need to get uh, permission from this person. I need to get approval. And sometimes, you know, I can be patient, especially if I've never been to the venue before. But if it's somewhere that I frequent and somebody try to hold me up, then that's a problem. And I know that 
they're just stretching their authority and they're being an a-hole, I'll just bounce. I mean, I'll just leave and never, ever, ever come back. Being a club owner in the past myself, I've owned six clubs in the Houston area and one restaurant. So being in that position myself, I understand how you can use celebrities to help bolster your profile, you know, whether you be in the restaurant business or the nightclub business or whatever kind of business. You know, celebrities help, you know, put eyeballs on your product or your service. So I get that. I'm glad everything turned out all right because I wouldn't have wanted to see Spike Lee get arrested. I'll share this quick story with y'all and then I'll let you go. Back in the mid-2000s, Ghetto Boys played House of Blues, Los Angeles. Everybody's there. Celebrities come out. As I'm walking from the dressing room across the hall to the foundation room, if you're familiar with the House of Blues, you know, you know that the dressing rooms are in close proximity to the foundation room. Foundation room is the VIP room for the venue. As I'm walking across the hall, I look to my right and I see the security guard holding people up on the other side of the stanchion is Chris Rock. And I was like, yo, Chris, what's up, man? And then I said, man, let Chris Rock through here, man. And uh, the security guard, Mean Mug, he was like, you know, well, he ain't really Mean Mug me, but he was just seemed disappointed that he couldn't continue to make Chris Rock stand on the other side and wait. Like I say, some of these guys, they get off to that. They get off to that little power trip, you know, because they get to have a story. This was at a time, he can't tell me he didn't recognize who Chris was. This was at a time when Chris Rock had the Chris Rock show. And it was one of the hottest shows on HBO. Plus, Chris Rock has been around forever. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a pillar of the eight, of, of, of L.A. community. He's a pillar of Hollywood. And so the dude held him up. But that's how they do. House of Blues strict. Now, I will say that about House of Blues. It pretty much don't really matter who you are. You come to the House of Blues and if you ain't got credentials, they're going to hold you up almost every single time until you get the proper credentials or unless you get the proper person who has access to walk you through. That's the way that goes. Anyway, just a little insight. Uh, I ain't want nothing. Y'all take it easy. No more top. What the haters talking about? <laughs>